Hi, in this video we're going to talk about the Best of NAS Ultimate Dependency Features. When you're dealing with some Best of Artifacts, you might want to know which other artifacts are being used by this particular artifact or which other artifacts are using this artifact. And while this all seems confusing, it, it's very intuitive. If we want to analyze if this particular orchestration is using any other artifacts inside, as it normally does, we can use the best of NOS feature to find which artifacts this orchestration depends on. If I click in internal dependencies, I will be able to see which artifacts are used by orchestration 1. And we can see orchestration 1 uses multiple artifacts, uh, uses orchestration 2, schema 1, schema 2, and transformation 11. And if we actually go inside and open this bit of orchestration, you can actually see the call orchestration shape. If we go into the message types, we will see the multiple schemas being used, as well as the transformation. So this is a quick way of understanding what does this orchestration depends on. In a similar way, we might want to know what a particular artifact depends on. And to do that, we can uh, right-click an artifact, in this case it's a schema, and we can say what are the external dependencies. And you can see uh, both Orchestration 1 and Transformation 11 are actually using Schema 1 as a reference uh, for their own use. So these are the most obvious and direct features. We have a few other advanced features in the BIS of NAS Ultimate Dependency feature. Now let's use Schema 3 to understand how the heuristic external dependencies work. And to do that, let's first start with external dependencies on this Schema 3. So, I clicked external dependencies and you can see this schema 3 is used by transformation 1 and based off orchestration 2. But if we are changing schema 3, we might have problems because orchestration 2 is used by orchestration 1. And so some change to this schema might affect the result and outcome of the orchestration 1. And so if instead of using just simple external dependencies, we use the heuristical external propagation, we will be looking for all the artifacts that are directly and indirectly affected as external dependencies for this schema 3. And as you can see now, we also have orchestration 1 selected because it is an external dependency of orchestration 2. In a similar way, we can compare internal dependencies and then recursive internal dependencies that might be affecting orchestration 1. Let's use these as an example. And so if I go here and click internal dependencies on orchestration 1, as you've seen before, we are actually using orchestration 2, schema 1 and 2, and transformation 11. But if we are using the heuristic internal propagation, which will go and analyze internal dependencies on dependent artifacts, we will see that actually all the artifacts in this solution are actually affected. And the last feature in dependencies is the heuristic contagious dependencies. And this will use a heuristic algorithm to look for artifacts that contain a similar name across the whole solution. And so if I click here in contagious uh, dependencies, and in this case I will choose to open the artifacts, I've been always saying no, this is a feature that will search for the artifacts and will also open. But back to the contagious uh, feature, it will search for references to schema one across the whole solution, even if they are just slightly similar schemas. And so if I click yes, we will see we will find a lot of artifacts that have references to schema 1. And as you can see, a lot of artifacts have actually been selected. All the schemas that contain references to schema 1, or all the orchestrations that use schema 1 as a reference, or any map, etc. Across the whole solution that I have here, it found a lot of references to schema 1. And so we can see all of them here. And since we chose to open the artifacts, we can also see here that all the files have actually been opened and can be consulted. And this is all from dependencies in the BizTalk NAS Ultimate.